Welcome to Play Drill. In this video, I'll show you how to create your first drill and training. To start, click the New Drill button. This is the drill page. Here, we can give it a title and write a description of it. But first, we want to create the drill illustration. So let's get straight to the editor by clicking on the image. This is the drill editor. Here, we have the canvas and the menu. On the left side of the menu, we have the playing fields and all the images, lines, shapes, and text that we can use to illustrate the drill. The first thing to do is to choose the field by just clicking on it. Now, we can start to drag and drop images on it. Let's start with the players. On the top of this menu, we have everything we need to customize our players. Here, we can customize the colors of the clothes by selecting the clothing and picking the color. And here, we can select the skin tone. Here, we have the player's images categorized into groups. We just have to choose one of those and drag it on the canvas. Now we can rotate it and adjust the position. By clicking the Edit button, we'll open the Edit mode. Here, we can change the colors even though the player is already on the canvas. Plus, we can edit the opacity and the player's pose by switching it to another image. On the right side of the menu, we have the functionality buttons. Copy and paste. Delete. Bring forward and send backward. Undo and redo. Scale up and scale down. And flip. We'll use the flip button to switch a pose from left footed to right footed and vice versa. Okay, now we have the basics. Let's start composing our drill using all the images we need. Now we can add the lines. It's the same principle. We can customize the color and the line weight and drag them to the canvas. Once we've dropped a line or an arrow, we can model it using its three focus points. We have four different line styles available to represent any kind of movement of the player or of the ball. To highlight areas on the field, we can use shapes like rectangles or circles. If we need to write something on the canvas, we can just add a text, double click it and write what we want. Now we can resize it by shape and dimension. Nice job. Now we can save it and go back to the description. Now that the drill is illustrated, it's easier to give it a title and write down a description of it. If we don't need some of these default text fields, we can just delete them. Don't forget to save along the way. Now that our drill is ready, we can download it choosing from PDF or image, share it via a link, and use it in a training session. Once we have created a good amount of drills, we can create a training session. To do so, let's go to trainings and create a new training. Now, we just have to select the drills that we want to include in this training. Sort them 
and click Confirm to create the training. As for drills, we can add a title and description here too. By clicking on the drill, we can have a quick look at it and set the duration. After doing this for all the drills, saving and going back to the description, it will show the total duration of the training here. Now we can download the PDF of the training where we can see everything we need at a glance.